This is a day that I had hoped would come, but wasn't sure if it would. We're packing up our old pal Cheech and heading out to what we hope will be his forever home. Cheech, come on, buddy. Cheech has been a big part of our family, and everyone here at Villalobos is more than thrilled to see him get a chance at a home of his own. He's okay. good. They want him. He'll be good. We just want to make sure it all works out. Good. I'm super excited. I mean, you know, we just had him for such a long time, and I just think that he's a really good dog. You ready? Oh, he's so done. Oh, what? Yeah, I like when the dogs do that. I like when they're not sad. Yeah, they're just like, no, no, no. Where he's going is some of the most crystal clear blue waters. He's going to have a blast. Mix emotions. I know we all going to miss him around here. Everybody here do have their fingers crossed for him. Bye. Later, Cheech. I got you, homie. I got you. <laughs> All right, children, for as great as this possibility feels, I still have to think about what lies ahead, and that's Lucy and Siler. Dogs can act different in their own home. Are they going to be accepting of Cheech once he's in their home and in their yard? To think that there's even a slight chance that it might not work is beyond devastating. Blue water. Blue water. Mano and I are taking Cheech to Florida to check out the home and yard of Evan and Jordan and their two dogs. With three dogs, two of them weighing over 100 pounds each, we have to make sure that there's enough space for all the dogs to live harmoniously and safely. The first feeding went great, and now we just have to make sure that it's going to go just as well at their home. Hey, Hi. good to see you again. Hey. How you doing? Good. How are you? Hey. We are really excited. We've been talking about it since we left. You know, we're crossing our fingers that uh, this can be his home forever. Oh, say hey. Remember us? Where's your big sister? Hey, Lucy. Hi. Oh my gosh, she's taller than the couch. I know. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We hope that on our dog's turf, he feels comfortable and he's not overwhelmed by Lucy and her size. Come on, bub. Come on. Watch. Oh, Lord, this is beautiful. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. The house looks great, and the yard is beautiful, and it's huge. It's totally fenced in, and there's probably enough room in this yard for like 10 dogs. Lucy has an insane amount of energy, but with a yard like this, I see no problem with it containing both her and Cheech. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Where'd he go? Um, yeah, so go ahead. Let's get her unleashed then. Now it's the moment of truth. You look very comfortable there, buddy. Before we ever take a new dog into the house and yard of the existing dogs, we always introduce the dogs off property away from their home turf. And we take them for a walk and just kind of let them get reconnected. I think you might be his buddy. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Can I just turn around and walk back? All right. Scyther wasn't as much of a concern to me. She's an older dog. She didn't have a whole lot of energy. Once I saw that she was very indifferent, I didn't really worry about her. My concern more was Lucy. Yeah. All right, Cheech. Easy, easy, Luce. Then it was time to move into the backyard. I decided to keep both dogs on long lines so that we could still have some control. OK, you just go ahead and just let her just let her a little more freedom. I'm going to get down here so I. Easy. Easy. You're on your little go nervous. You little nervous? <laughs> Get her, Cheech. Tell her what's up. <laughs> yeah, he's very handsy. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do with that. She's never had that happen. Lucy and Cheech were way more energetic than when they first met. I haven't seen Cheech play like this since his brother Chong. The nice thing about him, he's very well behaved as far as listening. So you got a lot of dog here, but they're both actually yep. easy to deal with. Right. So, you know. I think with managing it, it, I think it could definitely, you know, something we could try and Perfect. see if we could work it out. Yeah, I thought they were getting along really well, so we think this is a good, a good spot for them. What do you think, old man? Hey. Just a little. Hey. Cheech just seemed so comfortable. It felt like he was good. Come on, buddy. Oh, okay. Oh, belly rub. It felt like he was, he was in his new home. Luce. Hey, leave it, leave it. Come She'll on, girl. Lucy. 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 Come on, we were just giving him a belly rub. I mean, the leash is pretty much off. Oops. Oh, 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 oh my no, god. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh, loose. 
Yeah. Loose. Okay. Uh, okay. Which one? I it's think the left. Okay, hold on. It's your left one. Everything was going great, and expect the unexpected. Oh, leg, leg, leg. She hit her. It's her left front. It's she hit. She one. fell on it. Yep. Hey, girl. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Easy. It was. I think it was the last thing really anyone expected. It just seems like there's a lot of good energy flowing, and you know, I mean, and then all of a sudden it's just like, just everything stops. Easy. Hold okay, Luz. Okay. okay. Well, it's not broken. Okay. She would not be able to do anything. Those are her. I mean, those are her joints that are like. Yeah, she's got. Oh. Her anyways, joints are real bad. They didn't grow right. Yeah. She's a rescue, and her front joints are um, a little weak, anyways from really poor nutrition when she was born, and so it, you could tell it immediately hurt her. This is kind of a new twist on things now. Like, like I said, if, even if she, like, she's, she's fine, this I mean, could she, happen again, because like I said, he's so big. Right, right. Um, they may have to go with a dog that's smaller. I know that Evan and Jordan really, really want to Cheech. We want Cheech to get a home. It's tough, it's a tough one, it's sad. I, you know, I say think about it overnight, obviously. Okay. okay. You know, but maybe we can reconvene tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm so sorry, Lucy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Aww. The last thing we want is, obviously through no malice or anything, is playing with her and Lucy ends up hurting herself. Now I gotta oh, take buddy. a step back and think if this is, you know, is this the right thing? Oh, Cheech. It's not just an Evan and Jordan decision. We have to think about what's the right situation. And just off the top of my head, I, I don't know what that is right now. After spending the night here in Florida, we're back at the home of Evan and Jordan to follow up on Cheech's potential adoption. Oh. oh. Unfortunately, we were all thrown for a pretty big loop when Lucy got hurt. It was just one of those unfortunate accidents. The thing that worries me is that there's no guarantee this won't happen again. Hello. Hey, guys. We... Come on in. We did bring Cheech back with us this morning, but I do need to sit down and talk to everybody and see how everyone's feeling. She, right when she woke up, she was a little slow kind of moving mm -hmm. around. I think it probably just stiff. got stiff. Yeah, okay. but after about a couple minutes of walking around, Back to pretty, fairly normal. Right. So. I have a bad elbow, too. I do. I do. I have a bad elbow, too. Are we understanding each other? <laughs> <laughs> so what are your thoughts? Oh, I mean, it's, it seems like that it was such a weird fluke. It was an accident. Yeah. It was an absolute accident. It was it, all it, play. Right. It, it was. It was. That being said, it was almost a blessing in disguise because it also gave us another perspective into what could happen. Right. right. I mean, it's just a lot of intangibles. You can't really, like, say for sure. Could have been a one-time thing. This could have be a ten-time thing. We'll bring Cheech in and just do another control introduction. OK. I just have to figure out if this is going to work. Is it a thing of maybe the dogs were just overly excited, they had just met each other, and maybe they'll settle down? I mean, there's a lot of questions. Hey, Luce. Okay, on the long line. Who's here? Who's okay, here? Wait, wait, wait. Here's easy, here. Easy. Easy. Who's easy, here? Easy. 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 Oh, I mean, it was a lot of, you know, a little trepidation, I guess. Easy, Luce. Easy, easy Luce. Easy. Ask for it again. Easy, Luce. <laughs> He's like, all right, all right. I was conflicted. It was great to see that Lucy was absolutely fine, bouncing all over the place, trying to engage and play. But at the same time, I thought, oh no, <laughs> you know, here we go again. But Cheech pulled it off. He just didn't play into it. He just kept his cool. And after a while, Lucy just settled down and went, OK, I get it. She, I think she kind of learned a little something too herself. Yeah, yeah. maybe she was uh, like, I mean, all right, all right. So we got to see a different Cheech, a more comfortable Cheech. And Lucy was calmer. You know, I thought, OK, we're getting somewhere now. I mean, <laughs> come here, Cheech, come here. Perfect. You know, Lucy's laying on the ground, and she just kind of walks up to her, and she doesn't freak out. Like, she's just, just fine with him standing right over her, you know? Not to say that they won't start wrestling again like that, right. but at least now we know that it can be like this. Yeah. That is and cool. You see that? That's so you see good. that? She allows, oh and then she gosh. walked away. So she good. walked away. I was like, OK, this might just happen. I think that they absolutely would be able to, to manage it and let the relationship evolve. I mean, it's up to you. I, I think trying it out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, We're really happy to see his reaction. 
I think Cheech will be happy here. Cheech, right here, bud. There you go. Oh, That's right actually there. your bed. Seeing this new interaction between Cheech and Lucy made me feel a thousand times better. This is a great family. And once I was confident and felt good about these two giant dogs being able to coexist and be happy, then I was happy. Let's we're going to the beach. beach. Come on, guys. We're going to Come on, Liz. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> Evan and Jordan asked if we could say goodbye to Cheech at their favorite place, down by the beach. Beautiful. I thought there was going to be this big ta-da moment where we were handing off Cheech, and, and it just felt so natural, though. It, it, it wasn't even like a big shock to me. It was just this, this natural thing where I felt like he just belonged with them. Cheech, you came from the deserts of California to the swamps of Louisiana. Yeah. To All the way across the country. To this, yeah. Paradise. Okay, stay, stay here, come here. Come here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the paw, Uncle. All right, bud. We can't deny that Cheech has been something really special. <laughs> You're bringing me all yeah. this way. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, Cheech and Chong have been such a big part of our life, and they've been through so much with us. Come on, Cheech. You be good. You be good, OK? You be good. Bye. You know, from getting them out of a very high kill shelter in California, to evacuating with us during a big, huge wildfire, to Hurricane Isaac having to swim our way out, to dealing with Chong's cancer. Don't cry, because you're making me cry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love him. I'm so happy. So happy for you, because you don't have his brother, but he's got them. That's awesome. It was a very emotional goodbye, but it felt really good at the same time. It felt like this is the way it was supposed to be. Evan and Jordan, they're just such cool people. It, it felt like I was just handing them their dog. That's Cheech's forever home.